Hi Virgo, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has to be well. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that rules can be reversed between you and your person. And once again, if it doesn't make sense, let it go because you don't have to claim it once again and next week might make more sense. And once again, that's our old general. So that's a friendly reminder. And without further ado, let's dive in, Virgo, with your reading, okay? So let's see. Please and thank you, Spirit. What do you have for Virgo? What is, like, Virgo's uh, important message that they need to know? Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands. So I've seen Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I also see Energy, uh, Lib I'm not sorry, not Libra, but Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. I see that you have been working a lot on your well-being. You have been med meditating, manifesting, and you have been actually, you're tired of like, you know, giving chances to people who don't deserve it, of course, right? So you decided to leave it to the, to the universe. You, get, you went like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm done. Let me work on myself. Let me work on the things that, you know, maybe are causing me choose this kind of people in my life. And for the first time in your life, I see that you have achieved the chakra balance and, in, in, you know, within your energy. This happened because of a, a breakup or a situation that ended not very well. Because in this case, you were the one putting all the effort, doing everything in your power to get this person happy. And this person was either or never happy or paid you very badly. This person could have lied to you or cheated on you. With the justice and reverse uh, Libra energy, this could have been a divorce. This could have been, like I said, a breakup. Also, it could have been a situation that involved lawyer, lawyers. This person could have stole something from you or taken advantage of you within money or anything or any way shape or form and it seems to be that that situation caused a lot of stress and and unhappiness and you know because of that you decided to work on yourself and your healing because it seems to be that your soul and your energies were very drained and very very hurt the tower yeah scorpio energy yeah you went through a harsh time tough times here um it was a lot of anxiety and sadness yeah your relationship with that person was not good. Things were very bad. They were arguing. I also see like this person could have cheated on you. And not saying that you don't know. You could have known too. So overall, it was not a pretty situation. With the three of pentacles right here. This person did not complete their vows. This could also be a situation that you were engaged. And you guys never got to marry. Because this person was playing with two people. You and somebody else. This person that they were playing with was somebody close to you. That's what I heard. The Queen of Wands is going to have been a good friend of yours, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or somebody that you trusted in a way, shape, or form. I'm sorry, King of Wands with a Wheel of Fortune. Um, that changed everything. That changed your life. That changed the things that you view. You It changed everything. Like, you changed, like, 360 uh, with the Six of Pentacles right here. So, it seems to be that whenever that happened, you decided to cut things with this person and get what was yours, you know, legal-wise and whatnot. So... And if it wasn't legal wise, it was just like you caught it off, you know. So what's coming towards Virgo right now? What's coming towards Virgo right now? Like in the recent energies. Wheel of fortune. So it's gonna be a change. So we have Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Aquarius, we got Leo, Virgo, and Scorpio. We have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and then we got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The Ace of Wands. So after all of this, somebody's coming your way. Okay? Somebody completely new. This could be in spring. You know, like towards the end of spring, summer. There's somebody coming your way. This person is very gentle very handsome and or hot depends on the gender right uh, again my readings are genderless so just take it the best way it resonates for you if you're a female or a male um once again this person is very very handsome or hot right attractive and it seems to be that this person is going to be very interested in you and you have your guards up you're like no stay away from me but this person keeps on insisting like they're like no i like you no i like you you know like they don't give up because they do like you and they know that you've been hurt this person could be an empath eight of cups and the sun without you knowing the energy pisces cancer scorpio your happiness is on the way the person who is the one for you the person who's going to show you that love does exist the person that's going to show you a different light and a different look 
to love is coming your way. This person seems to be a strong fire sign with the eight of swords. You are very afraid of loving with eight of swords. You're going to be very afraid. It's, it's hard for you to get out of that, that mindset, right? But just for you to know this person is not the past person and they're not meaning or wanting to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. With the four of swords right here, even though that you are going to be very scared, it seems to be that you're going to give them a chance and you guys are going to go out on a date and you're going to be a little bit like overnight thinking like, should I, should I not do it? Because, oh my God, like this person. So I still see you having your like guards up, but still wanting to give it a chance because you don't want to regret it. That's what I heard. With the nine of swords right here, the night before of the date or hours before of the date, you're going to be, you want to, you work, but you will want to cancel because you are very anxious, you're stressed, you're worried because again, you've been hurt before, but it's telling you right here that the past is the past and this person is not that past person, that you will never be able to get out of this 10 of ones energy if you stay on the 10 of one energies. You need to get out there, give people a chance. Like I said before, I know trust is an issue, but the only way that you can regain Gain the power back that you once had is to let go of the past and let the future and the new come in so what's going to happen to those people or what's happening to those people who hurt virgo that betrayed virgo what's happening to their life right now So this person, right, it could be either or your person or the person they cheated on you with. Uh, they're actually like thinking like, oh, we made it. This is perfect. But somebody's not being honest with the other person. This person is somebody's getting cheated on. Things are not very perfect. Even if you've seen them on social media or you know something, they're not very happy. They're very unhappy. They don't even have sex. And this person is somebody's getting cheated. Yeah, the lovers of your Gemini energy. They're cheating. Somebody's cheating on the other person. So once again, the same way they started the relationship is going to end, meaning that with somebody else in the way. I thought you should know. If you tell, I don't want it. I don't want to hear it. Too late. I already said it. So like I said before, they're getting their karma. They're going to go through the same thing they make you go through. That's the point of everything, just for you to know. For whoever wanted to hear that, if you didn't, good job, bro. <laughs> so, what is the intentions? What are the intentions of the new person? They actually want to build with you. With the five for ones right here, it seems to be very, very hard because you're making it very hard. With the wheel of fortune, it seems to be that you're rejecting it or giving them signals that it might not work. But they still want to try. They don't want to give up on you. Because they do, do like you a lot. They feel that if they keep being persistent. The sacrifices and the care. You will give them a chance. But they understand with the five of cups. That you are doing that because you've been hurt in the past. And they, that you're scared. But they want to give you. A different look, the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A different look of love. They want to offer you something different, completely new. Something that you haven't experienced before, perhaps. They're telling me that they're, they, the, the person, that person that's coming has a saying that nobody has ever loved anybody like he loves or like she loves. Don't know. The Nine of Cups right here. They said that they might not be your usual type, but this person is just perfect for you. With the emperor right here this person aries energy has all the qualities you ever look for maybe when you were little you know in a partner they say they have everything stability emotional stability and they have this sense of respect and trust that you can trust them you know that they respect you they're coming in i see sun so it's definitely either or spring or summer they're coming in soon again it's a very strong a very strong uh leo and sagittarius energy by the way um, and Aries too though so fire should have just said that so oops so is this person worth trusting they're saying that it is but until you don't believe it yourself it don't matter they said that you are on this 
energy of the seven of one it's like you don't want to let nobody cross yet when they don't cross you get com you get upset but the thing is that people if you push somebody away so many times they're going to follow through and they're going to just walk away so you need to stop pointing out people be like they're gonna hurt me they're gonna hurt me because if that's all you're gonna say that's how you view them they're gonna stop trying because no matter what they do you're not letting them in so once you decide to let them in that is when you can actually see what the really intention is but if you follow my tarot readings right i'm always honest right i can tell you good news i can tell you bad news right the ex if you want your ex that person that hurt you it's over okay i'm sorry to tell you this it's over it's not worth looking it's not worth even wanting so let them go now the new person that's coming in is 10 times better and you are thinking the worst of them but they're not going to hurt you but the thing is that they will never be able to show you otherwise if you keep pushing them away patient ones you need to give them a chance give them a chance the patient ones there is a fire sign coming towards you somebody that really cares it's a cup it also could be Pisces and Scorpio, but it's a very strong uh, fire. Then they want to give you their whole cup. They want to start something with you. They want to give you the love you deserve. But the only person who is able to open the gates of your heart is yourself. What is the final advice for Virgo? Please and thank you. You need to stop fighting people that want to come in to love you or to care for you you are putting your emotions and yourself in this jail and then when people can't break through that jail because you put maximum security in that jail when it comes to your heart and emotions and people can't get through you go like oh nobody's worth it no people are going to try but if you keep pushing them away and making it harder natural naturally people are going to stop because remember that that is pretty much what you're doing. You don't want anybody to get out or to get in. So that is what's going to happen. It's going to be only you. Six of Swords. You need to find a way to walk away from the past and not let the past be reflected so strongly in your present relationships or future relationships because then the story will never get better. You need to take a chance, Page of Swords. And I know this is your energy, which is, should I, should I not? I'm scared what, and what would happen. But aren't you more scared of like having that what if energy of maybe not knowing anything? But the thing is that love is a risk. Starting dating to date somebody new is a risk. But you know damn well that it's worth it. You know that you're just scared, but you know it's worth it. But of course, you don't have to, when you start a relationship, I'm not trying to tell you that you need to jump in right away, that you need to uh, date them right away. Take your time. Take the time that your heart tells you that you need. But at least give people a fair chance to show you who they really are and what they want before you shut the door. Because your past, your ex should not have a quarter of power over your new relationship because you are beautiful inside and out very good you know this and yet you know that i know that very good could be difficult but i know that you guys when you guys love you guys love purely and i know that's why you are so protective but the thing is that finally you have somebody that could show you and prove you that you can be happy and you can have the love that you know you want because sometimes if you don't know anger is the part that that knows that we're not being treated well and that's why you're so angry at your ex or at whoever hurt you because that is the part of you that knew that you deserve better treatment yet we allowed it at the time because we were listening to our heart and that's why it says from love to hate because the hate or the anger which is more likely to be anger is the part of us who is hurt at ourselves and at the person for not treating you well when you deserved it you know what i'm saying and it's hard to let go it's hard to let go but once you do anger no longer controls you excess past memories no longer controls you especially those memories who are not worth keeping if you want to remember something for a lesson do it but do not use that as a stop for you to not be happy because you could say it's because you did this to me because you did it to me let's say that we did that right 
the person who did that to us is moving on while we are here being angry and upset and not moving forward. So we are losing because that person not only hurt us in the past, they keep on hurting us when we don't choose to move on. So when you choose to move on, Virgo, and when you choose to be happy, you're not doing it to pay, to get back on anybody. You do it because you deserve it and you want to. So of course, I'm not telling you to love somebody in 24 hours. I'm telling you that you deserve to be happy, that you deserve somebody good and somebody good is showing up. So give them a chance to show you. And if you feel that it's not for you, you just say thank you next. Anything else that you want to tell Spirit? They're telling you, and this is the final thing they're going to say. We got Five of Swords and the Page of Swords once again. You have the upper hand. You decide to give it a chance. But you have multiple swords to cut things off whenever you want. You're not forced to stay. You're not forced to love somebody that you don't love. Give it a chance. And if it don't work out for you, Use the five of swords, cut it, and walk away because you have the upper hand. It's hard, but you have the upper hand. So just think about it. Just think about it, okay? Don't give an answer today. Just think about it. Let me give you some affirmations card. Okay. At the bottom, we have today I am free of drama. Today, I will let go of the people that do not support me and only surround myself with positive people. Today, I will not give in. Today, I will not allow negative thoughts or feelings to prevent me from achieving happiness. What did I just tell you? Spirit speaking. Let's see. I want to give you some oracle cards, like two cards. Four very good, please and thank you. Okay. I want to read this. This says cow <laughs> and it says a new beginning or even a new life may be blooming here, right here. It is an auspicious time for new beginnings. Again, new beginnings, new beginnings twice and moon in Libra. Avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationships. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, but spirit has been very clear. Okay, so once again, thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for your time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, follow me on my social medias here. Those are my two uh, Instagram accounts and also my official uh, TikTok. Again, thank you so very much. If you haven't followed me, don't forget to subscribe. And once again, if you want to, I offer a, a membership for $1.99 a month that gives you a special badge that will upgrade every month, gives you special emojis that you can use every time that I created. And every time you comment in my videos or lives, your comments are highlighted, highlighted and treated as a priority. And of course, it will help my channel a lot to support it. So once again, thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed night. And see you guys soon. Blessings.